After a pretty hectic morning where we had to run the whole way to the ferry station, we made it in time to catch the ferry to the island Santo Antao. Uh, today was really early. Woke up uh, half past six, which isn't, isn't very common nowadays. Tired. <laughs> Santo Antao is known to be the greenest of all the Cape Verdean islands, but since there are no good anchorages on the north side, the ferry was a good alternative for us. After the craziness in choosing a driver, we ended up with Evandro, a local guy who knew everything about Santo Antao. All the product you see in the market in Mindelo, that's from Santo Antao. Nice island, huh? crater of the volcano because just as in the Canary Islands uh, this, this archipelago is also volcanic islands Okay, bye bye. Oh, 
up in the mountains, the people live from farming and the surroundings they live in was really spectacular. We're on the island Santo Antal. So beautiful here. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's incredibly beautiful. It's green and really mountainous. So if you get the chance to visit uh, the Cape Verde Islands, we can really recommend to go to this island. Now we're there. Ah, oh, no. Okay, we're like here or something. Really cool island. Yeah. <laughs> it's very bitter and uh, that was a strange. <laughs> they look like apples, but they are much more much bitter. Oh. Really strange. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Apples, small apples. This is called Marmello in, um, in Cap Creole. And Mar they do marmalade from it. Quite high, huh? <laughs> I'm good that I'm not afraid of heights. The rain falls and it goes down from the and it goes down from the walls and it all collects down there and it can in the inside the ravine and it pours down to the city. Are you afraid of heights? Uh, not really, but uh, it's very steep. It's really humid, humid now. Yeah, I'm just looking at this plant here because I actually had one of these uh, back home in Sweden. And here it's growing natural. That's really cool. Elephant Mountain. <laughs> We're in uh, Ribera Grande, big river. Uh, it's the biggest town on the San Antal. It's, uh, it's an old colonial town. setting of this village. What's the name of the village? Ponta do Sol. Ponta do Sol. Now we're going to have some lunch. Ivandro is going to show us a local restaurant here in, uh, in the village. In Ponta do Sol the fishing community is very strong. The fishermen go out several times a day to catch fish and we also saw a lot of younger kids going spear fishing. Or is that an old synagogue out there? That's an old synagogue. Yeah. Ah, okay. And then after the, the Jewish, uh, after the Jewish people use it for, uh, for example, old people with lepra, leprosy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. They put their isolate ah, on quarantine. Okay. After the lunch, Evandro took us to his hometown, Paul, and into the valley where he currently lives.
we were completely astounded by the beautiful nature and it felt like being on the King Kong Island. Back in Mindelo, we packed up and left the marina to cruise the archipelago. And first up was the island São Nicolau. Plenty of action today. First, we've been beating in uh, 20 knots of wind. Yeah, and then we started to, to fish. And we caught a small uh, Mai Mai or Dorado. And uh, that fish, in turn, was caught by uh, a marlin, quite a big one. And uh, but he let go, and just before I took the fish in, it was caught by a shark and bit it almost in half. So the fish was was dead before we got, got it on the boat. But uh, we still got it. The sail to São Nicolau was about 40 nautical miles and we arrived by night and laid anchor in the village of Tarafal. Thank you for watching this episode and please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Stay tuned for next episode and at the logo as you say here in Cape Verde.